Why does nobody want to sit next to me? I sometimes feel like an outsider, but he just backs away from me. It's not going to stop me. How old are you? I'm 59. Wow. <laughs> Wait, how did you just pull that out? That's how did I pull it out? Oh Easy. my God, we were talking about that yesterday. We're like, he's 40. <laughs> <laughs> I never viewed my age as being a, a hindrance of, you know, that would stop me from doing something. So I never thought about it. What does it feel like to be 59? Basically, I've always looked at it as I still can do everything that I did when I was 18, 19 years old. I never thought that at some point in time that I was gonna be old enough to say, I'm old. Mm. I never think about that. Yeah. That's not a question that comes to mind. Doesn't need to, <laughs> doesn't need to. Age is just a number, right? Right, yeah. right. I never view that number as a depiction of who I am. Can you describe a little bit about your situation? Like you have a very interesting life story, just for the someone who doesn't know. I am American, I'm here in Japan. Uh, I've had a chance to travel around the world to many different countries. I've been in Japan, performing here in Japan. I uh, just did a movie, and the movie was based on uh, a boy. He's half Italian, he's half Japanese. And it's involved with the experience of living in a culture to where you as being a foreigner, you have to just go through life and just uh, experience what you experience. The objective of overcoming that within yourself and realizing that the only person that is holding you back is you. So I tell all children now, if you experience any kind of racism, anything like that, just laugh because they will never know what you're laughing about. Right. So that actually leads me into my, yeah, it's a good segue into my oh, next question. Let's do it. <laughs> what is it like to be black in Japan? I always have a reserved seat next to me on the train because nobody will ever sit next to me on the train most of the time. So I have the freedom of just being me and I had to get used to it after a while you know I had to get uh -huh. used to it because it was just why does nobody want to sit next to me but now I just look at it as like okay this is life this is the culture this is this is what it is and you have to accept the environment that you're in mm. and once you accept the environment you're, that you're in nothing else matters because you just you just move freely through everything else do you face racism while you're here do you feel profiled I do but I think I've become immune to it I think I've just gotten to the point to where it doesn't really matter anymore. And I just say, tell myself that it's not going to stop me. It's not going to describe who I am. It's not going to change who I am. I use it as a strength. Right. And that, that may be why I've been here so long. When I go back to America, I sometimes feel like an outsider because of my mannerism or my ways have changed to mm. adapt to Japan versus in America. What is the difference? What are some things that make you feel like an outsider when you go back to the States? America, I guess you could say, is more aggressive. You're chasing the American dream. You come to Japan and when you start chasing, everybody just backs away from you because you're too aggressive on the chase. Mm. I need to back down a little bit and I need to understand that it's a process. Once you are able to be seen as somebody who is approachable, mm -hmm. then you can open up a little bit more. People are also are very approachable in the US. So I guess you have to work extra hard or you have to have learned things to become more approachable to the average outsider. Just think it's just a power within you. You actually become more of an attractive person just by being yourself, just by not uh, being too aggressive. And mm -hmm. people want to gravitate to you because you're intriguing, because you're not being that forceful American that they're expecting you to be. So you're 59, you just blew both of us away with, <laughs> with your age, but you act, you act and seem like you're a lot younger. There's things that you do that you think make you feel younger and that you think you could give as sort of pieces of advice that someone should engage in every day. We've lived in a world to where we've been pretty much programmed to follow directives since we were a child. Once we break away from all of those past beliefs, then we free ourselves and we are able to follow our gut feeling. And once we, once we start exercising, following our gut, we tend to go a different direction. You start walking slowly and then you start to skip a little bit. And next thing you know, you're running because you realize that what you were doing before or what you were living before was a lie. You, you, you bought into the, the dream of this is the way things should be, this is how you should live. But I, I basically look at it, like I said, if I focus on age or I focus on income or if I focus on all of the aspects of how I'm supposed to live or what I've been told to live, it doesn't make me happy. What do you focus on instead? 
Well, I focus on following my dream of, okay, I wake up in the morning and I say, okay, this is what I'm thinking. So I'll go out for a walk and I'll just say, you know what? I'm just gonna talk into my diary about what I feel mm -hmm. or what I've experienced. And that allows me to free myself from the thoughts of what, I'm, what I should be doing. You're talking like, oh, there was this one path that I, that I broke free from. What is that decision that you made that, or, or what is one of the biggest decisions you made that really impacted your life? I guess was to travel. And when I did start, when I started traveling, not only was I able to see how other people live, you go to another country and you wake up and you're living like someone else. Mm. You're not living like you're living in America. Mm. You're living um, a life, a lifestyle that, that is new. Mm. And every day you wake up, it's like you're on a vacation. You still feel that way? Yeah, I still feel that way. So every day I wake up, I feel like I'm on a long-term vacation. And that and probably makes you a lot happier. Right, right. That may add to my complexion <laughs> of... Uh, That's your skincare. <laughs> yeah. What is a big regret that you have or a big mistake that you have made that you learned a valuable lesson from in life? Well, I would actually say learning how to say no is probably a big decision that I made because I would always say, okay, I'll help you with this, I'll help you with that, or I'll do this, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. But then again, you realize a lot of things that you do mm -hmm. are not for the benefit of you. Mm -hmm. You're doing it for the benefit of others. Do you have an example? Something that you said no to in the end that was, like, that was really hard to say no to, but that you're happy that you did it. It really changed you or helped you feel like you're making progress. Well, I was offered a job and the job was with a friend, and the friend said, I really need you. I really need you to help me. I really need your support. And I realized, I says, okay, well, they may need my help, but if I go in that direction, this job won't make me happy. So in the end, I would end up being in a situation to where I made them happy, but I made myself unhappy. So I turned it down, I said no. If you could give one piece of advice to anybody younger than you, based on all your experiences, doesn't have to be something crazy, but just the first thing that comes to mind, what would you say? I would say follow your gut instinct. You have all the answers to all the questions that are in your mind and learn as you go along, even if you make the wrong decision, because not always will we make the right decision for us from the beginning, but that decision that we make will direct us into the right formation of where we should go. Thank you so much, man. My man. I really appreciate buddy. it, dude. I really you're appreciate you, You're man. amazing, dude. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then you're definitely gonna like this video right here. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to do that now. I'm Will, and as always, it's a mindset.